just trying to clear my thoughts. See this or not. See if I can right there. That's a turtle, it's either a live turtle or a turtle shell stuck in the uh, stuck in the sandstone. We're over here in the uh, this is a drainage creek over by our house. And uh, my wife and I are kind of taking a walk. I just said just a few seconds ago, or a minute ago, to our thoughts. Our uh, niece was killed in a car accident yesterday afternoon, so Labor Day weekend is not going to be the same. So we're sticking close to the house in case in case we needed. Anyhow. Yeah, that turtle, he's moving. Yeah, he's trying to push himself under that rock or something. You can see uh, some swirling bubbles above him. That's a pretty good sized turtle. Closer to the the pond in the park, and you can see where we had a lot of water come through here from the rains and stuff. Yeah, yeah, man-made obstacles, pieces of concrete down in there, and then more drainage. And there's just something about running water like that that kind of just soothes you a little bit. It's unfortunate that we have a lot of trash and debris that have gone in here, but you can see where some grasses have caught on that tree there. Of course, we've got garbage hanging from that area. I'm not sure if these are electrical lines that are in the ground or if they're, uh, well, I think there's a water treatment plant over here, so that may be what that is. All right, we'll have to go around the, this deal here. I'll bring it back. Okay, I'll turn the camera back on because I think I, I don't know if you'll see them. I'm jumping up some frogs. So, yeah, there's quite a few of them there. Yep. Anyway, this little creek 
runs into the the little close to home fishing pond uh, here in Mustang. And it's easy to take for granted things you have close to home. And right now, this little area is a welcome spot. It's just my preference is to be out by the water or what have you. And so I'm glad this is a walking distance from the house. I've never seen any any fish down in this thing, but as you get closer to the to the pond, they'll have we've caught some channel cat out of there, and that's where Trina had caught that uh, big bass that I've got a photograph of on my Facebook page. I'm sure. Sure glad. And there's more drainage. And then that goes into the lake right over there. Water would be definitely cleaner on the other side of 59th Street. Going through this gravel for filtration. That'd be a good spot to put some crawfish traps out. I, can even, I don't know that I would eat them, but they sure make good bait. This is the opposite end. The fish feeder out in the middle. That's where we had the best luck catching channel cat. There's a turtle out there, a little head sticking up. And a lot of them.
Looks like that bad storm we had the other night blew this light pole down. I'm probably not aware of it yet. Won't be long now for these fellas. Some of these fellas to stay here all winter. Maybe they're fed. Some of them may be more wild than others. They'll be headed south soon. A lot of mallards. Yeah, I just uh, I got this doing this video that makes absolutely no sense other than just trying to trying to find peace in my own heart. had a chance. She's with Dad now. She would have liked this.